terrifying haunted houses in the world. I warn you, what you'll see here isn't your typical Halloween attractions, but truly haunted houses. So if you have heart problems, don't continue. Let's start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. Enfield House. Did you want something really scary? Well, brace yourself, because this house will give you goosebumps, since its story is none other than the one portrayed in the sinister movie, The Conjuring 2. Yes, the London house where evil spirits tormented a mother and her four children exists. But trust me, the horrific events you saw at the cinema are child's play compared to what happened here. And then there was like incidents that happened to me that were like the curtain which wrapped itself around my neck. It all started when Peggy Hodgson called the police to her rented home in Enfield claiming she had witnessed furniture moving and that two of her four children said hearing banging on the walls. From then on, people have seen chairs moving of its own accord, strange banging noises, and children levitating. There are even tape records of demonic voices. Amityville House is probably one of the most haunted homes in the world. You may not believe in ghosts or demons, but trust me, this house in Amityville, New York, will make you tremble with fear no matter how skeptical you are. That's because within these four walls, one of the most infamous massacres in the United States took place. In 1974, young Ronald DeFeo Jr. killed his parents and four siblings in cold blood with a rifle. He later confessed hearing voices in his head that forced him to do so. But don't think that this story ends here. This place has driven more than one owner crazy. The temperatures in the house vary and the spots that would appear in the carpet in the morning, um, the progression of certain toilets turning black. Years later, the Lutz family bought the house, but while living there, they witnessed frightening, diabolical events, such as a white figure coming down the stairs, or sightings of a pig with red eyes. Terrified, the Lutz left after just 28 days. As you might already imagine, this house inspired several books and movies, each one more blood-curdling than the other. The House of Laments What better setting for paranormal phenomena than the house of a ruthless serial killer? Yeah. The House of Laments is a historic building located in the city of Guanajuato, Mexico. And don't think it has that name for nothing. Okay, <laughs> Hearing screams and seeing doors opening or shutting is pretty usual here. And no wonder, since these floors and walls have been deliberately cursed through satanic rituals and human sacrifices. Its owner was Tadeo Fulgentia Magia, a bloodthirsty widower who, after consulting a witch, murdered several people to contact his deceased wife. Y que aquí se hicieron rituales satánicos. Si te fijas, es un pentagrama perfectamente bien hecho. That's right. This story includes black magic and beings from beyond. So how could it not be haunted? Logically, this place has been inspected by paranormal investigators who have captured multiple psychophonies of tormented people. Oh, someone hand me my crucifix, please. Winchester Mystery House. And it doesn't work any longer, but some people say that sometimes they can hear the faint sounds of an organ playing in this room. If you ever visit this house, you shouldn't walk alone, because once you arrive, the owners give a severe warning. 
If you get lost in these hallways, they may never find you. This mansion is full of strange structures, as its deceased owner built it so that the ghosts haunting her couldn't find her. Some people believe that these were Sarah's methods for dealing with unfriendly ghosts, baffling the spirits. Sarah Winchester was a millionaire who, after being widowed, went to see a medium who assured her that her whole life would be cursed. The reason? Her husband was a magnate who manufactured firearms, thanks to which thousands of people died. To save herself, Sarah built her home non-stop, so that way the spirits couldn't settle in. However, after her death, everything came to a halt, and several parapsychologists have confirmed that the place is full of evil entities. I wouldn't dare to go inside even if someone paid me. The Orson Star House A house where the spirits of its former inhabitants remain to torment you. No, I'm not talking about another paranormal activity movie, but the Orson Star House, located in Royal Oak, Michigan. This place has so many different variations of hauntings. This antique property was built in 1845 and is the oldest building around. But in recent years, it has become famous for the tragic story it holds. Those who lived here were the Starr family, a rather unhappy couple, as within a week, they lost their beloved children, three young kids who died on the property. However, According to the members of the House Society, none of them have actually left. We have people that claim they're touched, we have... And that isn't the most terrifying thing. A woman even fell down the stairs when something pushed her after she kicked a ball. Spine chilling. Villisca Axe Murders House I got a recording that says just kill John Worley. That's me. To give you an idea of how creepy this house is, I have to tell you that the atrocities that happened here were enough material to inspire horror books, scary podcasts, and even a slasher movie. This house is located in Villisca, southwestern Iowa and it's famous for being the scene of one of the bloodiest crimes in history. Eight people were slaughtered with an axe while sleeping, most of them were innocent children. It was the Moore family and their guests, the friends of the family's children, who stayed overnight after a blackout. Incredibly enough, the case remains unsolved to this day, so the souls who died here can't rest in peace. The normal doors opening, closing, footsteps, EVPs, the voices. But that's not the scariest thing. In this house, a paranormal investigator who went there to check if the place was haunted inexplicably stabbed himself. After knowing this, would you even dare to set foot here? Merchant House Old houses are the perfect place for ghosts due to their great historical importance. That's the case with the Merchant House, the only family home remaining from the 19th century and also considered the most haunted in all of Manhattan. Those who lived here for over a hundred years were the Treadwell, one of the oldest families in New York. Seeing how their clothes, furniture, decorations, and overall possessions were left intact, it seems as if none of them have left, or perhaps at least one actually hasn't. The negatives were examined, the cameras were examined, and nothing could be found to explain this white line. The spirit of Gertrude, the last owner of the house, and the youngest daughter of Treadwell, is believed to still haunt this mansion. She was born in one of the rooms and never left her home, as she never married and died of old age in her room. Honestly, I wouldn't stay to see her. Spring Hill House 
Can you imagine the horror stories that can be told in a house where a family lived for 300 years? Definitely many, but at Spring Hill House, there's one that will make your hair stand on end. As Spring Hill is said to have the most well-documented ghost in Ireland. The ghost is a widow named Olivia. This woman was the wife of George Lennox Coningham, a colonel who, depressed after losing his position and suffering the loss of one of his daughters, committed suicide in one of the rooms. Foreseeing his intentions, she desperately rushed to stop him, but it was too late. When she reached the door, her husband pulled the trigger. With the eternal guilt of being unable to save him, Olivia died years later, so her spirit roams the house to this day. If you ever visit this place, don't bring your little brother, since this ghost usually appears to children and could take him away, like in the movie Mama. Myrtle's Plantation Mutilation, Murder, and Revenge the events that took place in this house in Louisiana are so gruesome that it's logical to believe it's haunted. I didn't see this little girl in the window, but when the film was developed, there was a little girl coming out of the window, and you can see her puffy sleeves. Several legends surround the Myrtles' plantation, from having ten murders to being built on an Indian burial ground. But the darkest certainly is Chloe the Ghost. She was a slave who was constantly sexually abused by Clark Woodruff, the house owner. But it wasn't the only torture she suffered. As punishment for eavesdropping on a conversation, her master cut off her ear. In revenge, Chloe killed his wife and children by making them a poisoned cake. Scared and wanting to save their necks, the other slaves hanged her and threw her into the Mississippi River, putting an end to her miserable days. Many have already seen her wandering the corridors. So many guests tell us stories of things that they see or people that they even talk to that should not be here. Another evidence of her existence is this photograph where her shadow appears in the window. Scary. Bonus. Before meeting the last spooky house, there's an honorable mention. I didn't include it with the other houses because, come on, it's not just any house. I'm talking about the White House. That's right, this place is one of the most haunted in the world. Several staff members have reported stories of strange noises and sightings of deceased presidents, like the famous Ghost of Lincoln. This definitely is a place with quite dark psychic energy, right? The time has come. Prepare yourself for the upcoming horror because the next house is the scene of one of the most morbid massacres in history. Even I'm terrified, and I made this video. LaLori Mansion The hellish aura surrounding this house is related to the worst tortures and atrocities carried out by its owner, Delphine LaLori. In front of her guests, this lady was a kind and refined socialite, yet she hid a twisted personality. That's because she amused herself by making her slaves suffer. Not only did she chain and starve them, but also mutilated them and tore their limbs off. Tired of this miserable life, her slaves unsuccessfully tried to commit suicide, setting the house on fire. Although nothing was ever heard about them, their souls live in grief to this day inside the mansion. And you could watch the doorknob turn by itself and open and there was nobody on the other side. However, a particular room stands out from the whole place where it's said that Madame LaLaurie kept her slaves. Moans and laments are often heard coming from here. The curse of this house of horrors is such that even those who have stood a few feet near it have reported feeling taken over by negative energy. So now you know, if you ever come across this place, stay away as much as you can. I don't know about you, but after telling you about all these haunted houses, I have the chills. 
If you don't want one of the ghosts of the Winchester or Enfield house to curse you, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn on the notification bell. And if you're braver than me, watch this and this video. I'll go get my crucifix to hug it while sleeping. Wait, what was that noise?